welcome to today's webinar on various industry certifications available for techno-functional roles. Check us out on www.quebicoglobal.com. We offer a variety of information technology courses and interview preparation packages. Roles that involve a combination of knowing technology and business functionality are called techno-functional roles. Most common among them are business system analysis, project management, and software quality assurance. There are dozens of industry certifications available for techno-management roles, but today we will talk about the following. ITIL for Software Delivery Management, Project Management Professional called PMP, Certified Scrum Master called CSM, and PRINCE2 for Project Management. Certified Business Analyst Professional called CBAP for Business System Analysis, International Software Quality Testing Board called ISTQB for Software Quality Assurance. Uh, but before we get into specifics of these certifications, let us first understand the limitations and benefits of certification. Certifications do have some value. For starters, they offer industry recognition. The content in the certification offers a framework to execute the various responsibilities of the role. They also help you form peer groups for professional development. However, there are some very serious limitations too, because of which certification by itself is never valued during interviews more than the job skills or experience. The material in most certifications are extremely generic and vague to a level where you cannot directly apply them on everyday job situations. They merely offer a high level guidance. This makes it irrelevant for an everyday job. For example, on a regular day, a business analyst might have to create process diagram in BPMN or draw a logical data model or create a template for a functional specification or handle agile sprints. None of this is a part of CBAP certification. Also, let us be very clear at the onset that certifications are for those who already have work experience in that field. People that are looking to change careers or find a job should look at some of our foundational or job-oriented courses to start their careers. The Project Management Professional, also called as PMP, is an industry-recognized certificate for project management. This is offered by an organization called the Project Management Institute of PMI. Even before applying to take the exam, the prerequisites needed are 4,500 hours of actual verifiable project management experience and 35 hours of verifiable project management education if you have a four-year degree. If you do not have a four-year degree, then 7,500 hours of project management work is required. It's a computer-based exam that consists 200 multiple choice questions to be completed in four hours. The exam costs $405 for PMI members and $555 for non-PMI members. The exam is based on a book by PMI called PM Book of Knowledge. They have divided project management into five practice areas and 10 knowledge areas. For each chapter, the various actions done by a project manager have been divided as process inputs and outputs. The exam questions are lengthy scenarios where you need to figure out the best possible answer based purely on the content of the PM Book of Knowledge and not from regular work experience. The certification is valid only for three years, after which you have to recertify by taking exam again or by showing 60 educational development units. The PRINCE2 is a set of multiple certifications offered by a UK-based organization called Excelos. PRINCE2 is more valued in UK and Australia, but the concepts are globally applicable. The first level is called PRINCE2 Foundation and the exam has 70 multiple choice questions, of which 50 are required to pass. If you clear the foundation, you can take the next level called PRINCE2 Practitioner. In this exam, there are 8 objective questions on 10 items and you need 55% to pass the exam. The next step is optional in case you want to add Agile project management to your portfolio. It's a new exam called Prince to Agile. You need to have cleared the practitioner exam before taking this one. The exam has 50 multiple choice questions to be attempted in 150 minutes and 60% required to pass. The final level is Prince to Professional. You need to pass the Prince to Practitioner before taking this exam. There is no written exam, but two and a half day assessment in exam center. The PRINCE2 Foundation is a lifetime certificate, but the practitioner is valid only for five years, after which you have to renew it. The Certified Business Analyst Professional, or the CBAP, is industry-recognized certification for business system analysis. It is offered by a Canadian organization called the International Institute of Business Analysis, 
or IIBA for short. You need to have proof of 7,500 hours of business system analysis experience in specific knowledge areas and 21 hours of BA-related education before you can apply for the exam. It's a computer-based multiple-choice test of 150 questions to be attempted in three and a half hours. The cost is $325 for IIBA members and $450 for non-members. The exam is based on a book by IIBA called the BA Book of Knowledge. This book is very similar to PMBOK in structure. It has a 6 BA knowledge areas and 32 BA tasks, all of which are represented as set of inputs and outputs of work-related processes. The exam questions are lengthy scenarios-based questions based on concepts in the BABOK. Just like the PMP, this certification is valid for 3 years, after which you have to recertify by taking exam again or by showing 60 educational development units. The Certified Scrum Master and Certified Scrum Professional are Agile Scrum style certifications offered by an organization called Scrum Alliance. Agile Scrum is an iterative style of software development which is becoming an industry buzzword these days as more and more companies are opting to execute projects Agile style. There is a mandatory training of two days that you have to take through any trainer certified by Scrum Alliance. This is an expensive course and can cost $1,000 just for two days of training. After you take this mandatory training, there is a simple online exam of 35 questions in which you need 24 to pass. If you already have a CSM certification, then after 36 months of working in Scrum-related projects and accumulating 70 educational units, you can get the Certified Scrum Professional title. There is no exam for Certified Scrum Professional. The CSM is valid for two years after which you need to pay $100 to renew it. An alternative to the Certified Scrum Master Certification is the Professional Scrum Master Certification offered by a rival organization called Scrum.org. Unlike the CSM, there is no mandatory expensive training required for this certification, nor is there any prerequisites. You can study from a freely downloadable book available on www.scrum.org and take an online multiple choice test of 80 questions in one hour, in which you need to get 68 out of 80 questions correct to pass. The questions are tricky and this exam required more studying than the CSM exam. If you clear the exam, then it's a lifetime certificate and needs no renewals. The ITIL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. This was first published in UK with an aim to aligning information technology infrastructure to business objectives. ITIL concepts are now certifiable with a multi-level certification process. This is useful for professionals that want to be in IT delivery and management. The first step is taking the version 3 foundation exam. This exam is one hour with 40 multiple choice questions. You need 26 correct answers to pass. This get, gets you two credits. If you want to go further than there, you get the ITIL Intermediate Certificate. This is not a single exam, but a system of accumulating credits. There are two categories of topics, as you can see on the picture. Number one, five subjects under life cycle modules, and number two, four subjects under capacity modules. Each subject is its own exam and has three to four credits. You must have a total of 17 credits, including foundation, to be an ITIL Intermediate. If you earn five more credits beyond ITIL Intermediate, then you become an ITIL Expert. The final step is ITIL Master, which is a $4,000 exam and has extremely rigorous entry and passing criteria. The CSQA is one of the most recognized industry exam for software quality assurance. It is offered by an organization called International Software Certification Board. You need to have six years of experience of which the latest 18 months should have been in software quality assurance to take this exam. It is a computer-based exam taken in two parts. First part is 100 multiple choice questions in 75 minutes. The second part is 12 essay questions in 75 minutes. The cost is $350 for members and $420 for non-members. The exam itself is based on a book called Software Quality Book of Knowledge. Thank you for listening to this webinar. Hope you found it useful. Please feel free to leave comments on this video. Do call us on 201-340-4718 or check us out on www.quabicoglobal.com. We offer a variety of information technology courses and interview preparation packages. 
feel free to email us to schedule a live demo webinar. Thank you once again and do check out our other videos.